Uncle. Uncle. Say it. Today is the champ of all time. Today. Of all oh, time. Today is the champ of all time. Today is the champ of all time. God. <laughs> you got your fingers crossed, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> well, I'd say you're officially recovered. And here I thought you were going to put the moves on me. What? A gentleman like Ma? <laughs> the thought never crossed your mind? No, I, 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 I engage in only wholesome activities. <laughs> Probably wouldn't turn you down, though. Probably. No, I might not. But I might. <laughs> I might. Seriously. Because I like where this is going. You do? Yeah, definitely. I do. You're not waiting for me to screw up, are you? Not every minute. <laughs> That's nice to hear. <laughs> you know, I've been listening to my sister now, probably for the first time ever. You talk to Vicky about us again? Yeah. She told me not to push. And maybe things will work out for me. Smart lady. Are you feeling the same way? All right. Mm. I like our chances. <laughs> if it were just us, there's always Blair. <sighs> okay, so you want me to dig up a secret that Taya has guarded with her life? Mm hmm. Doesn't that bother you? Why would I care? Well, that's what I want to know. Why do you have it in for Taya? So you're, you're moving back to Landview? For 13 weeks. Longer, if you'll have me. You'd give up your acting for me? Is that so hard to believe? But you were following your bliss. My bliss led me back to La Boulet. You would give up Fame and, and fortune for me? I want the complex yet fulfilling life that you and I were building with each other. With your accessible family and those quirky three-dimensional friends we had. What friends? Oh, uh, like uh, Mo and Noel. You know, I have really missed Mo's no-nonsense attitude. And right about now, I could use a dose of Noel's Homespun wisdom. Oh, I, uh, I fired them after a graduation party debacle. Speak up. Is it a lurid story? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and it ends with Marco's family disowning him because they found out that he was having sex with Langston and me being thrown in the pool. I have missed out on so much. You're gonna to have to recreate every detail for me. No, no, I'm afraid it was painful enough the first time. What about uh, your Latin lover, Ray Montez? Was he defending your honor in all this? No, he was taking care of his disturbed daughter. He has a disturbed daughter. She took LSD at the senior prom. She poked holes in condoms. She killed her mother. Not in that order. My goodness. That's horrible. Are they here? No. Ray took her out of state to uh, an institution where she could get treatment. Well, what about Addie? She's here, isn't she? Yes, yes, she just got back from the Amazon. And Langston, that sassy orphan who's so lucky you took her in? Uh, sometimes she feels lucky, other days, not so much. And the ever promiscuous Blair, she's still raising hell around here? Blair is not promiscuous. Eh. But mm, she sure can raise hell when she feels like it. <laughs> what about her brood? I sure like that star. How is my would-be favorite mother? She's not would-be. No, Star's baby was found alive and well and is living with us. Star's baby mm -hmm. is here. It's a long story. <laughs> My goodness. I've missed out on all the good stuff. Uh, but surely there's, there's lots of conflict. 
lots of complications, what with the baby and all. Oh, no, the baby's easy. No problem. No trouble from anyone? Todd is a pain. I just wish I could brick up that entire wing he's in. Wait a second. Todd Manning, Blair's ex-husband who tried to sell his own son, is living here? By court order? Yes, some family court judge who I can assure you will not get reelected. He ordered that they live under the same roof, that they be civil to one another, or they'd both lose the children. That's it. That's why I'm here. To protect you from that nut job, I'm going to make sure he doesn't harm anyone in your family. You really mean that? I would do anything to protect you, Dory. Do you really want to break up? No, no. Do you? I think about it. I mean, your life would be so much easier. No, don't. No, you could move back home, you wouldn't be broke and worried about money. I'd still be broke. Look, don't make decisions because of me, okay? I don't want to lose you. I don't want to get lost. It's just a bad day. Well, what happened? I got the syllabus from my film class, and it's like 300 bucks worth of books, which is what, 70 hours of extra work that I have to squeeze in before the semester starts. I feel like I'm drowning. So let me help. Like, how? Like, let me loan you some money. Are you doing this? You say the word, I will move in today. Oh, I don't know, David. I really don't. You... What? What is that? Oh, that? What that? That. It's a phone. It looks like a microphone. No, it's just a phone. It looks a lot like a microphone! Oh! Hello! Ah! 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 What? It's a... It's... You! What is... Yeah! Hello! Come out, come out! I come here. Wherever you are. I give you my heart. They're you know, warning. Like this. Here it goes. Don't be ridiculous, oh. Dorian. Oh. Yeah, take oh. that. Hey, take oh. that. Take oh. that. Oh. 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 Don't mind the people in the bushes. Hey. Whoa. More, more, more. All right. Who are you people? Huh? Fine. Security. Wait a second. Security! Uh, security? That's fantastic. Get them on camera. Who are they? This is my production crew. Now smile into the camera, Dorian. You're on television. What my son believes is so awful has no bearing on this case. Wanna let me be the judge of that? Do you expect us to tell you something? I'm your lawyer. You know it goes no further than me. Well, that's personal. And tomorrow it'll be entered into the court record. Okay? Unless Miss Delgado is bluffing. No, she doesn't bluff. As a matter of fact, she'd entered it into the court record just to be spiteful. Unless it hurt her case. So let's let it go for now. All right, well, since I have no further explanation, I'll just assume the two of you are having an affair and we'll just deal with it. No, no, no that is not true. Just Keep that in mind. All right, well, if it is, you keep in mind that Miss Delgado will use it as an example of bad judgment. Not only can she say it, she can most likely get it entered into evidence. So, one last time, anything you want to tell me? There's nothing impairing our judgment, Elijah. Good. You've trusted me with your son's life. What's bigger than that? Well, if it comes up again, let us know. No, it won't. It won't. Matthew doesn't want to hurt us. If he intended to use this information, you know, we would have heard about it today. We almost did. Taya Delgado didn't back down because Matthew told her to. I stopped her. 